good morning everyone so today I am trying to finish up the rest of the painting of the bus the outside um, I can show you a little bit of what I've done so far we'll take a little, we'll take a little walk shall we so this isn't done yet but if you take a look over here I'm working pretty hard on painting it so today I'm trying to finish up which I've not had enough time to do anything on this bus forever I'm trying to finish up the back half obviously and then this side is completely still regular school bus so that is what I am gonna be doing today I have a lot of taping to do and a lot of painting to do and if I have enough time I'm gonna try to do my chimney inside for my little mini cube stove cubic mini stove there we go that's what I'm trying to say um, so that is what I'll be working on today guys um, I hope everybody's having a good week sorry I missed last week you know that life thing gets in the way a lot and sometimes you just don't have time to work on your bus so I will talk to you guys later okay so I have gotten all the sides done on the bus it's looking good I am going to probably do one other coat this is taking me um, a day and a half to actually complete so oh goodness especially when you do it by yourself it takes so long but yes it's looking pretty good looking pretty good so yeah that's where I'm at yep it's been a pain in the ass I'm not gonna lie painting is not fun and there's not much video because it's like watching paint dry so yeah that is what I have been up to um, I have not gotten to the chimney yet like I wanted um, but maybe later on today if it warms up a little bit more then I will definitely get up there and tackle that chore all right in a little bit I'll see you later so the bus is finished guys finally finished it is taking me forever to paint this bus and then on top of finishing it it rained and it's oil-based paint so it's called my crackle bus now apparently with my paint but it doesn't look too bad I guess uh, so that is what it looks like complete let's see if I can show you a better picture without all the crap in the way here yeah I have to say I'm pretty proud of him he looks good to me and uh, you know the whole spots where you can kind of see it uh, where the rain got to it I'm not too worried about because it gives a personality nobody's perfect you know so you know my boss ain't perfect it's okay it gives a personality so we all have a little cracks in us right so the bus can have a crack in it too whatever so tonight I'm gonna be working on the chimney I'm finally getting to it um, I just got out of work tonight and now that it's daylight savings time or whatever we came back from it or whatever it's how it works I gained an hour of light so I'm gonna try to get up on the roof today I'm gonna try to get it assembled and everything like that um, I gotta clean up my bus before I show you guys because it's a mess in there um, but I'm gonna try to get that up into this roof tonight I'm just hoping I don't mess it up like that is my biggest fear is putting another hole in the roof of my bus and messing it up that is like number one scary shit when I have to do that stuff um, but I will get it done for sure so what I did is I put the pipe to the stove so that way I know whereabouts I want the stove and kind of just laid it in there so now what I'm gonna do is make a circle around here with my sharpie but the thing is I'm gonna have to make it wetter because I have the actual insulated pipe that's going up through the ceiling so I know that that is safe and it's all about safety with fire on your bus so I'll keep you guys updated all right so I drew my circle and I'm going to try to uh drill up through both pieces <laughs> so we'll see how this goes guys I'm kind of nervous but yet kind of just got to get it done Okay. Oh. 
Oh my lord, the struggle's real. I'm going to take a break because I think I have the right drill bit for that and carry on. Further inspection of the situation. I have the wrong drill bit. So I got one that is not for metal. And the size that I got for this thing is too damn small for this hole that needs to go up. So trip to Lowe's. All right, guys. So I am back from Lowe's. I hope I got the correct parts. We'll find out. It's gonna be a really, really snug fit on that thing. Well, I made my pilot hole finally. I got through it, but I don't have my safety glasses. So I can wear my sunglasses so I don't get shit in my eyes. So let's see how this goes. Pilot holes there. Oh, I hope I don't fuck up. Okay, well, hold on tight. Metal's not fun. hot metal and you guys have gone okay so there is like hot pieces of metal down my shirt and this is worse than when I was putting the uh taking the seats off of the uh sorry guys taking the seats off with my grinder and the metal was coming up that didn't hurt this shit burns it's hot so be careful but I'm not gonna pressure on because I'm stubborn ass so anyways Round two. I'm trying to get you so you can see what the hell I'm doing here. Okay. I don't even know if you can really see. I'm trying. I'm in my pile of hole. Than it looks, guys. I sweat my ass off in here. A lot harder than it looks. Alright. This would be three now. I shall return. Alright, I'm back. 
<clears throat> Tank like 570 There we go. And this again. there I can see it it's like, just like it's like a smidgen like a little hair a little pubic hair just doesn't just, just a little bit, tiny bit gold oh. I don't think the top's gonna be as hard because I'm going down and it can have more pressure going down I do up. Come on. You got this. Come on. Don't miss. <laughs> I just knocked myself out with a drill. I'm telling you, I got to take because I'm getting my ass kicked by this drill and this thing. Sometimes I wish I had a little bit more strength so I can get this right on. I'll get there. This is right. it's disgusting it's like just cut the shit already if you guys have done something like this on your bus you know what the frustrations are if you have not have fun because it's a bitch <sighs> there are tons of things you gotta do continued when I actually finish it because I'm sure this is boring. All right. So the video's going to have to be continued for another time. I used all my battery in that last one. My battery just died again on this one. I have gotten this first half all around here cut. It's this back half that hasn't cut yet and it's taking forever because of the way it's grabbing and then it's pulling and then it's snapping. And so sometimes things just don't go as planned. I was hoping to get it done. It's taking a lot longer than I thought. So I'm gonna chalk it up to, there's only a tiny hole in my roof right now because of the, I put the, I'm gonna sit down about you guys. I put the um, hole all the way through the ceiling. So that was like a minute, little hole. It's not supposed to rain for the next couple days. 
not to worry about it. I'm going to try to work on it again tomorrow night. Hopefully I can do the upper half and uh, get it done tomorrow night because I'm obviously not going to get it done tonight. The sun is setting now almost and there's just not enough daylight to finish it. That's okay. Sometimes you have things in life that just set you back and you have to be okay with it and you have to go with the flow and things in your life happen and you're just gonna say fuck it keep on trucking do the best you can with what you have and I have the rest of the evening I'm gonna clean up the bus I take care of some tools and move along it's the best thing about when th life throws you curveballs you just move along you be happy about it you cheer about it and that's the way the universe is telling you to go so you have to just Go with the flow and make the best of every situation that you have. So that being said, I will do a part two on the chimney of the mini cubic stove because um, this probably is a very long video as it is with the painting and trying to do the chimney. But anyways, always wear your safety glasses so you don't get things on your eyes and the metal does get really hot when it falls down your shirt. I'm just saying, and I still have metal bits and I'm sweating, so it's like, but anyways, cheers to everyone. Have a great night. Have a great week, and I will see you next time for part two of the Cubic Mini install.